Please welcome this evening's special guest narrator, Neil Patrick Harris. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin who was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at this saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And it came to pass. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards all. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And behold, the star that they had seen went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. When the wise men had come and gone, and the angels had flown off to spread the good news, a quiet settled over the stables in that little town of Bethlehem. Alone, for the very first time, Mary and Joseph looked down at their beautiful baby, sleeping peacefully in the manger. All at once, the worry, the joy, the bewilderment, and the awe that they felt for this tiny child washed over them. They felt the magnitude of what had just occurred and wondered what the future would bring. In the stillness of the evening, they watched as Jesus slept, listening for the soft sounds of his breath, for the rustle of hay in the night breeze, hearts swelling with the wonder of all he would become. For all the miracles of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace himself was a man, a human being, and he walked through this world in the most human way possible, with love. He didn't have much, but what he did have, he shared, and it became plenty. Food, water, shelter, care, he met the world around him with empathy. Saw hunger and shared the food from his plate. Saw thirst and poured for them from his own cup. Saw sickness and offered his time for their healing. Soothed them with his human hands. 
Jesus Christ found it in his earthly heart to give of himself to the people who loved him, and even to the people who betrayed him, to all people. That a baby in a manger could grow to become a man who taught a world of people what it means to love one another, that is the spirit of Christmas. And it lives inside each and every one of us. The greatest joy of being human is to love one another. And when we share that love, that is the greatest gift of all. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your night at Walt Disney World. Take care. Woo! No kicks.